Why are the playoffs better at Boston Pizza? Because we've optimized our sports bar experience by studying in-depth analytics. Starting with our new BP Wing Ribs, currently leading all apps in wings above replacement, and deep fried pickle wedges, an early favorite for the unanimous number one overall pickle. And of course, the advanced stats darling and leader in pints per game, the new Beer Mosa. Catch the playoffs at Boston Pizza, powered by Fanalytics. I hate to break the fishing news up here, Amchuk, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations, you're one of the 13 listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for, like, an orgasm. You might want to mark that down, you're yep. Amchuk. Yep. All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get uh. today. Oilers off to round two. <laughs> <laughs> feel relieved i woke up yesterday mildly hungover and not stressed out yeah that was nice no concerns i was yeah like it was just i got to like be present and Mm -hmm. have a great day where did that come from bag milk says pointing at a white reebok jersey that says oilers nation on the back oh seven where did that come from i haven't seen that before uh that is from someone who got it made and then gifted it to us hmm we also Many years later, a few things. You know how we've talked for a long time about having something in the studio that our guests can sign when they come in. Yes, Liam had the great idea of those numbers. Okay, we have uh, again Nuge signed him because he was Nuge here. Signed because he was here. Yep, uh, noted interview. We have these old Rexall place signs up in the studio from section one thirty four. Could have also been section three fourteen, I suppose, but I like gallery. To, <laughs> but I, I like to imagine gallery. it's lower bowl. That was the that was the, the, pulse was of the building. Do you were you old enough to appreciate the gallery? The Even only the only beers oh, yeah, I ever had young. at Rexall were beers that my dad had to buy me because I was only seventeen. They served fourteen year olds at the gallery. That's how good it was. Allegedly, allegedly. Well, statute of limitations yeah, now. Good. I think are well past. <laughs> I didn't serve them. It was you a great. You time consumed up there. them though. Yep. That's where you got your pro serve. Yeah. Guilt. Mm. I want to make sure that there. future generations don't make the mistakes I did. Like, we don't have a gallery right now. The Moss Pit's the gallery. Although. Some of you need to fucking keep it together. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> well, I get I, I get the excitement, but there's some people doing some weird shit in that place. Someone almost bit someone's finger there off. Was a, there was a serial biter. Yeah. Like, going around doing? picking shit and biting people's fingers to the point where, like, Serious surgery has to be done. Yeah, that's not the worst thing that happened in the moss pit. No, well, there was the other guy <laughs> that, who was like sad. That was people. outside. That, that was yeah. way out. Yeah, okay. well outside. I that saw was like the on video. the avenue. Yeah, so don't give the moss pit. Yeah. So, anyways, the serial biter is who we have beef with. But like, I guess this will happen when you have a vent, an event, and bath is, salts, yeah. allegedly. But like, opinion. when you have an event that is free to get into with booze, large crowd. The crazies are going to come out a little bit, right? Yeah. For lack of a better name, they just need they need to just like they have to level up the uh, the police presence there, and that even still is tough, just because like it's so packed in there. Yeah, like, like if something's it's a ha- good thing, don't ruin it. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I was thinking too. Like even yeah. when I saw the first Yegway video of people like pushing through the barrier, don't ruin it. I know, it and you know fun. what? Do cool, you but, like, you guys remember the Canucks uh, Stanley Cup run? The only things that I really remember from it were just how unlawful the city of Vancouver became at that time yeah. and what a bad look it was. And I just That's always right. think to myself, when something really, really good is happening in your city, why do this kind of thing to put a negative light on it and make your city look bad? You know? I'm with you. Treat man. it with respect out there. This is Have a good time. But like, have a good time. Me, and like, Moss Pit did well last year as well. Yeah it, was, yeah, it was fine. Singing Don't Stop Believing and somebody catching it from the 54th floor of some building. That's awesome. Unbelievable. That's the type of stuff that needs to go viral. Not the not, a guy not the barricades finger. going down and people getting their fingers bit off. Or a guy getting popped. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. But that was out, well outside the Moss Pit. That's very important. How about Yegwave? They are on top of the news. And they are cut things up in a hurry. That is straight up my favorite follow on Instagram right now. You don't even need to watch the news anymore. Just follow Yegwave and you're going to get the real news. Real time. And then they engage with people like all the DMs that come in. Like the guy that almost got his finger bitten off, like mm-hmm. DMing with him. And oh, here's the real LOL moment, he said. Like, like what? what <laughs> he do you says mean? typing with his other hand because the <laughs> other one was almost bitten off. Now I have to go see a plastic you... surgeon that specializes in hands. And that was his... Le- 
That was his. You don't know. Oh what no, the it, was, it was his. It was his left hand pinky. Yeah, because you were going dink. I sent you guys a video on the chat. Great production value from up high of the moss pit. Right as we a, mm-hmm. a huge eruption happens, and then he pans over to a, uh, like a DJ case with the Oilers Nation logo on it, mm-hmm. and I, he sent it to me. And I was just like. Mm-hmm. Who took that? That's fu- that's awesome. He's like, I did. I was up there. I saw the nation logo. Good job, Tyler McRae. That was his. That was his fine nice. work. Uh, yeah, the downtown in general was just oh. on buzzing. Fire. Greta was melting yeah. with amazingness. Um, I know you mentioned you were hungover. I know that means it, definitely for two of you in this room, it was South Island Pie Day on Sunday. Good oh. hangover. I got food. pies downstairs that I need to remember when I leave this building. Mm-hmm. Today's going to be a pie day, too. I want to try that smoked salmon one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shout out to Jamie and the South Island Pie Company. Use the promo code NATION20 to get yourself 20% off at their website or in store. Uh, but Greta was... Are we checking, we're doing a South Island Pie contest right now? We're doing a contest on social media. Check it out. We're giving away some pies. There you go. You deserve the pies. Yeah, check it out. They're delicious. Anyways, yes. You threw me off there. I, promo oh. code NATION20 to get 20% yep. off your yep. order. Well, it's not, it's not in your jurisdiction, so you're I know. not supposed to know. Yeah, I know. Saturday Tyler only gets information on it as needed basis. Yeah, on it's a need as, to know. Yeah, if the podcast need it, then they tell me. Otherwise, I, I'm in the dark. At the beginning of this podcast, when you introed us, um, you looked at me. In my mind, I was thinking, this is usually when Tyler would want a nice, big, crisp, hearty yeehaw. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't do it right now. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> My voice yourself. is... Get on the lemon cayenne juice. I am in maintenance period. You know, as the players need a rest between series, so do I. Days. So should I we did. as fans. Yep. Um, I'm not wearing my jersey today because it needs its own maintenance day. After her, Greta, we were singing. We were yawn. We were celebrating. Oh, and it was I, four hours that I, I will remember because it was a perfect vibe throughout honestly though like even though the game was coming and going in the oilers favor that almost made it better in terms of the party because engagement ev- yep. everyone is dialed oh, into the game. Dialed. Producer, Aaron, producer Aaron told me i was too intense for him what i did hear that from a few people they were like why was bag milk in such a bad mood i'm like he's just dialed I was in a bad mood. Uh, I was just, just like, I was in. in the zone. Yeah. But if it would have been like 6-1 Oilers, you know, tables would have lost interest and, right? Like, or lost their focus a little bit and that maybe would have thrown off the vibe. The fact that it was basically a one-goal game the whole way through was unreal for the vibes because everyone's dialed. You could tell everyone in that bar wanted the Oilers to win, except for the couple that was playing Guitar Hero while Yamamoto scored. <laughs> they clearly didn't care that much. In Oilers jerseys? Mm-mm. Can we talk about how good it was for Yamo to get that for us. Oh. We we called Connor McDavid. We said it on the pregame show. We called Connor McDavid first goal. We said we needed yep. secondary scoring to help out. Connor had a great quote about how this is not just a two-man team. Like, it never has been. We've never thought about it this way. We get Klim with two. Klim. Klim, sorry. Three-point game. Three-point game. Oh. And then to just cherry on top. Somebody who we've all wanted to see have success, but has been really struggling with it so far to get that was just huge for the team. And the smile on that young man's face, mm. he looked so happy, so yeah. relieved. Yeah, I'm always buzzing. And like when they, when and it was four, four after we scored and the game was over, I just felt and realized how tense and exhausted I became from that. You yeah. know, it was, it was, yeah. Edge of your seat, like body tense and, I'm glad. I wouldn't have had it any other way. You're right. 6-1. I would have probably started losing engagement, spent a little bit more time on the drinking, the walking around factor. Yeah. But everyone was dialed, and that, that was the perfect game script. That fourth goal, like, because you, like, I, I I would be shocked if anyone realized in real time if you could tell Stuart Skinner stick There's broke. no way. No, you no Kevin, Woodley, Kevin Woodley was the first person to point it out that I could see. But he probably, like, zoned it, probably just, yeah. like, saw something. So, like, you're just like... Oh no! Like this is, this is like the hockey gods coming down on us for something, and for that to happen, I'm like, and then all the moment, like this is just gonna put momentum in LA's uh, corner. But the fact that it did break, Skinner knew it broke. The team knew it broke. Like they're just like, don't worry, we got gotcha. you. Yeah, and they still like- would have been like that anyways. But like, I feel like the break was like crucial. Also, Ideally, I would have liked him to cover that up. You know? <laughs> See, but... I mean, right there. I'm going to pop a little yeah, but, glove on that but one. I, I but feel on a like power what, play, no. Like, you yeah. want to keep it going. Yeah, I, but I, he could have, like, you know, cover, a little sweep outside. 
Well, I, but I bet you with an unbroken stick, that is like he didn't muff it. <laughs> no, it was, I just thought he muffed it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" It's oh so funny because when Mike happening. Smith used to do this kind of stuff, he'd go back to it, right? Like he never shied away from playing yeah. the puck. He made those. He made mistakes last playoff season that were oh, crucial, yeah. uh-huh. right? And right when it happened, I looked at Jr. and I was like, right, "This, this is not happening again. Oh, like we're not man. doing this again." And yeah. I'm wondering now, like, will Stewart be a little bit more? No, 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 he was out playing cautious. the puck next shift. Yeah, he just needs a stick that ain't broken. <laughs> yeah, and the stick that ain't broken. <laughs> just check, uh, just lean on it. I love the det- between the whistles, uh, detectives. Yeah, to, as to when it broke. Yeah, as to when it broke. Yeah. We're winding minutes. Found Kempe slashed it about two and a half minutes earlier. Broke the stick. It couldn't feel like that's yeah, whatever. But I guess right, a goalie never leans on his stick like a well, player. If your I stick bet you breaks, he does now. you notice in a couple seconds. Yeah, it's one of those things. That was that was uh, that was a like, like I, wow that like that really really stressed me out. <laughs> oh, I was so stressed. But again, like, but in hindsight, like, put it in my fucking veins. It had know? to be that way. Like, well, it's and it set the stage for Yamo. It's like it it was meant to be. Mm-hmm. I said this off the jump, and I talked about how now that we as a fan base have been through a long run together, and we had so many moments, you know, them going down one nothing to L.A. last year, then one nothing to Calgary last year, storming back the way they did, bouncing back from the Rasmus Anderson goal on Mike Smith. Like, it just feels like the team has experienced so many highs and lows together that they have this ability to stay even keel. And at least for me, the fan side of me, I almost feel like I have two. Like, I'm not sitting there going, oh, it's, you know, like, bad luck. Skinner gave up that goal. They're like, oh, there goes momentum. I'm just like, hey, you got to get the next one. Like, I was nervous. I was biting my fingernails and all that stuff. Yeah. But, like, there's still, they're now, the the big part of my brain says, I think we might be okay. We can still get the next one here. Like, I believe in this team so much more than I did a year ago yeah. when things didn't go there. Yeah, way. way more resilient. They've, and obviously, like, a much better team as well. But, like, still, man, that was... Well, and you I just, noticed yeah, that you think about the higher power at that moment, being yeah. like, "Oh no!" I kind of noticed that last night. You know, when the Oilers, if they get down, you're right. I also have the confidence that they're going to be able to come back. That there's no question in my mind. There really isn't. But in watching those that Boston game last night and the Colorado cracking game last night, there was a lot of questions in my mind about the about the, the team that's you know favored it. Like Boston, sure they're answering, but. When it really, when they were really getting pressed, it was it was like a game where one team has complete control, but then it goes the other way and they score, and you're just like, okay. During the game, but during play, the game, but in overtime, Boston overtime, didn't show they up, didn't man. show up. It was hard. Like I realized at the end of it, we as a family were cheering for Florida when they scored. It was we were screaming like it was an Oilers game. We were just happy, you know, like Florida. I I like this story, but then to see the emotion on their faces with the ultimate better story of what Patrice Bergeron's career has oh, been. I, it, I kind of went, oh, I should have maybe been cheering for that a little bit it more. Was, it was weird. He's a, yeah, but it's because if they weren't the 65 win, like, true, uh, game I know. winning yep. team, like we like dragons being slayed. Like yes. there's so like, that is the story arc of so many movies we love. It's just think about this. I'm right now actively cheering for all-time bad guy Matthew Kachuk to make it to the next round. Well, now he's not and so cheering bad against he's on... all-time good guy Patrice Bergeron. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, man. I don't know what I was. I had to sit back and reflect and be like, am I just really hungover? Am I not thinking straight still? That's that's funny. But yeah, I mean, good night of hockey last night. Wow. We got one more game seven tonight. It is. The playoffs is wild, man. First round is the best round. It is without wild. Conflict. It has been. And I don't know if we're like prisoner of the moment type stuff, but... I'm hearing like, you know, people, this is the most exciting first round. And I think, it, yeah, it, it is. But I feel like we said that last year too. This no, is a great but first like, round. No, but like some dragons have been slayed, yeah. bro. Like yeah. how many people, if you were to go on like the NHL.com bracket challenge, how many people had a Boston, Colorado final? <laughs> you said that. Well, right? Yeah. Like, no, you said that. Bracket, at the boom, party. Busted. How many people, and listen, I know this might not be a very popular take with our listener base. I'm Please. happy for Toronto. The further I get away from it, the more I, I can agree with you. Listen, you I'm might fuck them. You might not like <laughs> the annoying Leafs fans on Twitter or like whatever the way media it's now covers them. Now they got through the first story to interrupt. It's yeah. better they lose later. They got a little tease thinking they're going to go for it and they get it taken away from. Them. Yeah, I fuck them. <laughs> See, no, and I, I, I look at it and I go, man, there's a lot of like good Canadian hockey fans there who are like just as passionate as Oilers fans are, and like. 
they have known nothing but ridicule and heartbreak for like a decade plus. It was great. I thought C and I thought it was good to see Almost even two decades. Uh, to see Dubis jumping around. I thought it was fun to see the way their bench exploded. Like I thought it was a cool moment. I Unfortunately, refuse to cheer for any other team. So well, I'm not cho- cheering for the Leafs. Unfortunately, the NFL the did, or the NFL, the NHL kind of lost a little bit in having the fly, uh, the Panthers win because a second round Boston Toronto series would have been Sick. numbers. And I also for think them. Toronto's got an easier path now forward. Yep. I think they're going to walk through Florida. Toronto gets <laughs> it's face. one of two. Like, well, obviously it's one of two outcomes. But like, let's talk about that because I my initial take is like, oh my god, like Toronto's going to like gentlemen sweep four one. That's my, I've games. got Leafs and five on that one. But as but like it's still Florida's the like fuck. We just beat like like we have nothing to lose. Like we're just gonna keep rolling and working hard. And to, does Toronto not have the pressure to beat the lesser team or and 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 Florida have the advantage of being like holy shit we're rolling like we're just gonna keep working because this is this is happening. The way I can see Florida winning this is because they've been playing such intense hockey for not just the first round of the playoffs, but getting into the playoffs in the first place. Yeah. They were like, like they were, were they tired. Not like like, last couple of days. Yeah. They clinched. Got in that, that third period last night, two, yeah. like they were, re- they ran out of gas and Boston took advantage <laughs> of it. And they were able to re- uh, regain some energy. Gave up, gave up some bad penalties. Oh, like, they were taking that. That, that was stupid the penalties. They gave the game away, but then they took the foot off the gas in the third. Cause they didn't have much gas. So they might be tired, but like, if they so, keep taking penalties like that, the Leafs are going to destroy them. I know. It's yeah. funny. It's We'll see. Do we have, like, what Bobrovsky do we have? Oh, he's a wild card. Do we have Officer Bobrovsky? <laughs> What's the other one? Non-officer? <laughs> Civilian? <laughs> Bob? Bob. Off Off duty. Duty. Just Bob. Off-duty? Off-duty so, Bob? Just, sorry, but further to my point, because I'm just looking, I'm thinking about this. Boston, Toronto, NHL didn't get that in the second round. Original six. Second round also, Colorado and Dallas, obviously, they've had years of playoff animosity between each other. They've got themselves a rivalry. Well, that's not going to happen now. And it's funny because if you if you pay attention to March Madness, Cinderella stories are awesome in the first round, but it always makes for a worse progression, unfortunately. Yeah. You want Cinderella's, you want these crazy stories in the first round, but ultimately it takes away from having the Kings, like the not, not yeah. like the LA Kings, but like the the top teams in the fu- in the I, later rounds, right? Because now you got a Dallas Kraken series, which well, what's the storyline there? Think really, that, right? let's think about like, that. well, there's the storyline, but there's also the business of the NHL, right? That's what I mean. I bet you a new expansion team having early success is probably very inviting to a someone who wants to own a sports team in a league that's looking still to expand, allegedly looking to expand. Well, but allegedly, but like it builds a marketplace. Yeah. Like the last two teams that have entered the league have well, had like cracking. It took two years, and well, we all know Vegas. What would be the next destination? Is there a front runner? Because Seattle was always kind of that front runner. Uh, Atlanta Houston. allegedly. I don't really buy the Atlanta thing. I bet you'd be like Houston. I bet you Kansas City's probably pretty high up on that list. Um, Intercourse, Pennsylvania, I believe. <laughs> Dildo Newfoundland. Dildo Newfoundland is is just I think yearning. It would, be, it would be Houston and Casey. Yeah, Probably. Casey already has a barn, don't they? You know, that right. one yeah. is Omaha, Nebraska. I feel like they or the fine people of Iowa. I feel like they would really support Berkshire them. Hathaway sponsored jerseys. Well, that's the thing. Buffett could own the team, so like he's got it in his pocket. Well, that ain't a problem. Yeah. How come all this news is coming out right now of uh, all of this conglomerate that's going to try to buy the Ottawa Senators? What? It's an arms race, man. Is it? It's well, look, because it's now it was Remington and Ryan Reynolds coming in around a billion bucks. I don't know why they want to own the arena unless they have a development plan for that land to do something completely different and move the arena somewhere else. And now Snoop is part of a group. That's Snoop Dogg? Yeah. yeah. Snoop Dogg, yeah. Snoop Double G wants to own the Sens. Fuck yeah. like, <laughs> but, like, a buddy of mine, like, of ours pointed out, like, he should try to take a run of, like, the Coyotes or something. Like, own a U.S. team. Like, let the Canadian have at it. But, Imagine Snoop Dogg owning the Yotes might like, actually turn that thing around, make like, it relevant. Oh, 100%. Because, like, Ottawa, in terms of team, like, the NHL's just sitting here frothing, just driving up team prices because the Sens are one of the lowest, like, lower-valued teams just based on... Market, market size, Canadian, exa- all that. Ex- well, yeah, well, normally but Canadian teams, like, that's a good thing normally, but for Ottawa, it's not as much of an advantage. So, fact that it's like hitting like that that crazy threshold, like that goes back and reevaluates all the other teams. That makes like the Oilers like a two billion dollar team. The other thing you got to remember owning a Canadian team, there's the CAD USD thing, right? Like there are certain 
disadvantages to being a Canadian owner that you wouldn't necessarily have being an American owner, right? Well, let's see. All salaries paid in USD. Yeah. All salaries paid in USD. Every fucking Oilers fan wears an Oilers jersey where Kings fans do oh, not. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I'm not talking Like, the about, economics of a I Canadian know. team doesn't matter. I know, but I'm talking about, like... It through that shit. I think Edmonton, Toronto, like... Like, beer companies... Beer companies in Canada, except for, like, certain US arenas, like, major arenas, are, like... Most of Canadian pays, like, millions of dollars to be to be in the building. Yeah. But the only, like, the only, the, 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 like, because it's the Canadian team, the, the economics around it is completely different. It adjusts for the... It's different than when it was, like, the early 90s where that dollar actually, like, that's why the Jets had to leave because yeah. they couldn't, like, it's a different beast now with TV money and all that stuff. Listen, Jay, I think if the listeners want business advice from one of us, it's probably me. So <laughs> just fair. let me take this one. <laughs> that's fair. Um, it's a joke. Obviously. If we uh, if we're going around this room right now and we're looking forward to something like a final, are we all in agreement that the most exciting one for us is the Toronto Oilers? No, that's the most stressful one. No, I don't Oilers like Rangers would be the best. Make for the league for everything. McDavid and MSG. MSG Oilers Rangers storied whatever. I can't have- stand the idea of a uh, Rogers place in the finals half filled with Leafs fans. It won't be. Well, actually, no, because we'll be selling it. Well, this fans sell our tickets for like fifteen hundred dollars a seat. I can't. I can't stomach that. I refuse to watch that. You would, ha- yeah. I never really thought about that. I just thought, like, no matter what team comes pa- in, oil fans, fans have to make sell a up. pact. You know, it was. You know what would happen though? It's like you said. Oh, I can pay for my fucking summer vacation by selling my. I tickets. know. I'll yeah. pay for my next three season seats. That would be very hard, I think, for a season ticket holder. <laughs> I know. I will. And for like people that work hard for those seats, right? Yeah. Like this is Rangers is very intriguing. That's very fun. That I, was my pick. We need it tonight. Rangers Rangers and we, seven. Let's we go. Seven let's go. Oilers then. Panthers. I did at the beginning of the season predict the chaos of an all Canadian final. You can go back to the tapes. I've got the revenge tour still on the table. Carolina. So that's the thing. Like we're we're forgetting about Carolina, but they are banged up. They suck. But they, well, that's aggressive, man. You don't don't want to think that going into the series. So if if the Rangers make it through, then you think that they have no problem with Carolina. But if the if the Devils do, same thing. I think either one of those two takes. They've got the such Kings. good defense. Still, it's it's their forwards. Terravine is back though, right? I don't think so. I thought he had hand surgery. Oh, well, was there a serial? F- Finger biter there too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How'd you guys find out about that? Was that the news? Yagwave. Yagwave. On, eh? on, on the same platform, you want to get notified to find out about when Owen Every Day is. Yeah. That's how we found out. Oh, okay. oh, that's also taken on a life of its own. Well, Yag Wave, hey, listen, that's how I that's how I saw the, the amazing video of trust me, I follow it. I just didn't hey, I miss things. Especially on a Sunday when I turn off everything and I don't want to talk to anybody. Fair. And it was beautiful yesterday, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was so nice. It was yard work day. So, yeah. Yeah, I was up mowing my lawn like 9 a.m. It was great. After I, an 8.30 a.m. kids hockey practice. Ooh, I had to get oh. up early to take care of Crawford nice. and let Yuck. my girlfriend sleep in. But then when she got up, I went right back to bed for an hour. It was nice. And then we had a nice family day. Took her down to the River Valley. Yeah, I saw it. We were walking up and down. Little Brick. Yeah. She walked all the way from Little Brick to Dog Patch. Her mothering skills were in full effect on Friday night. On me. Try, on me, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get me to eat something. Like I'm sitting there biting my, my, biting my nails. She's like, oh, yeah, stop, biting your nails. stop biting your nails. She's like, Chris. You should have a water. I think you should eat something and maybe have a water. I'm like, I appreciate that, but no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, so stupid. At one point, I came over to your table just to eat some of the fries you had out. We had a they lot were of good. Fries. They, they were good. Came and vultured when, that. when the game ended and they turned on Power Glide by... I don't even know how to say it, by Ray Sermon, or is that how you say that rap group? Ray Shremmerd? Ray Shremmerd? I don't know how to say it. I think so. Yeah, so I fully admit I don't know how to say this. Okay. But when that song came on, (laughs) my blood, I was in heaven. Yes, you you were were in a... I was in heaven. I haven't felt like just that happy and just like having a good time. The music was just the right volume to be going through my body, through my soul, right to my plums. It was so much fun. Man. Downtown was just electric. Yeah, it was. I got. I, I was having the same Uber issue we're having in L.A. Oh, okay. I couldn't get paired with a car, even though there's a million apparently around get, me. Uh, so what I learned, and I got to shout out to Grant from Cruise, the Yellow Cab app is invaluable in those moments because it's a locked-in fee. There's no search. 
So and I don't know. And you hail it like an Uber. You hail it like an Uber. Do you, you pay, pay like an Uber, app, like through the Uber. Because that's the thing. I'm so my, I, and I feel bad. Like for Captain, I'm so used to Uber. Just getting out. I just walk out. The guy's like, "Hey, hey, you got to pay." I'm like, "Oh God." Yeah. No, yeah, they upgraded. Now you can just pay I, through the app. That's nice. I don't okay. know if this Smart. is a bad or a good idea. You guys can tell me. But don't you think that after an Oilers playoff game on a weekend that they should shut down 109th from Jasper to 100th Ave, right in front of. Greta a and the pine, dangerous. because there was people everywhere, everywhere. and cars everywhere were just going through. But if the best thing about it is, there's that parking lot right across the street that's dead at that time because yeah. all the businesses are closed. So Ubers can still it's a perfect Make meeting that spot a designated for people. Uber park. Make it for a designated spot. People then can get out, walk across the street to Greta if Safely. they want after the game, and you don't have to worry about getting hit by a car. I dude, I'm with you. I think that'd be like a really really good idea. Yeah. Sometimes you're walking around downtown, you step in human shit. <laughs> no comment. Um, Gross. I was locked out of my house too. Two in the morning, I get home. With poop shoes? Yeah, with poop shoes. Uh, <laughs> I'm standing outside my house and the little peekin electronic deadbolt, you know, electronic tablet or pad. deadbolt, electronic yeah, deadbolt, an iPad for a door lock. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't working. Wow, bougie at that. So it's like two in the shot. morning. I don't know what to do because I don't have a key hidden outside Where's my house Amber? anymore. She's standing there next to me, going, "We're fucked." And I got I it. Like, so there's are. there's two reasons these things don't work. Okay. Yeah. Number one, your bat- hose bib batteries are dead, <laughs> and that you left your hose bib and your basin is going to flood. Yeah. Um, number one is batteries are dead, mm-hmm. but number two is they sense the heat from your hand. It's not like electric activity. It's it's heat. Okay. So if you if the sun is shining on it or you're very very cold, it's less likely to understand that you are touching this. Now, is it a touch screen or is no. it buttons? Buttons. So it's buttons. What a time for that thing. To, isn't it crazy how so, when you're greased, it always finds the things that Mercury's you want to work will stop? Bro. Can I uh, ask a question? Sure. Out of 10, how confident are you that you punched in the right code? So there was three of us. There is myself, Amber, and nice. my buddy Connor. Oh. And my sister had driven the, <laughs> my sister had driven the, na- the nation truck home that night. Nice. She is pregnant, cannot drink, lines up perfectly. Great DD. And I said, you take the truck home. And then she got to my house and said, hey, I'm going to throw your keys inside for you. What's your code? So I told her my code. She opened, closed, and locked it. Remember, she is sober in this story. She is sober in this story using the code I sent her. So clearly I knew the code. Nation Um, 20? Yeah. And I go in, type in the code. And usually if you get the code wrong, it makes a noise of like, beep, beep, beep. This time it was going more like, beep. Like it was like a lower tone, like, beep. Battery dead. Battery dead. But it's working fine now, and I haven't changed the battery. Cold hands? Maybe. Anyways, I had to break into my own house. That's cool. Sat outside for a handful of minutes, however long it was, being like, what do we do? Where Maybe we sleep? it didn't recognize you as the homeowner because you had poop on your shoes. <laughs> uh, you like, those babies are rinsed so the next be, day or what? I have not yet. They're going in the wash when I get home, though. I had another load of clothes in. Wow. Just letting it fester, eh? Well, they're cleaned off. Did you use your hose, bib? <laughs> you probably could have used it. <laughs> you should have. This is where you want your blood, your basement flooded. Could you imagine if you never would have checked it, but it did crack, and then you that night are locked out because your door won't let you in because you have poop shoes, and then you go to clean it and flood your basement? <laughs> These are real things that can happen. This, you got to listen to me. Yes. I had a toilet issue the other day. Oh, God. Shocker. What'd you do? Yeah, you're, you're, you're in toilets. I don't Clock know. full of pennies? <laughs> I do flush pennies when I find them. Uh, no, it was just, I don't know. I don't want to explain it on the pod. It's not worth doing. Anyways, the uh, <laughs> point is, I had to be boosted up through my bedroom window after getting it open somehow. broke in. And my buddy, I'm just thinking about this, hoisted me up. He would have gotten an and on poop shoot. Oh, Gross. shit. Uh, did he no. know that he was boosting Literally. you by the shoe, by the poop shoot? Uh, well, he knew he was there for poop shoe incident. Um, he forgot. He forgot. No, or he's just yeah. a great team guy. Oh, now is he a pink guy now? No, but now I'm just remembering that my window opens and my bed's right there. <gasps> you stepped on the bed? Oh, poo shoes. Poop, shoes. poop, boot, poop, bed, poop, poop bed. bed. Oh, no. Where poop. was this poop? Like, is in the middle of the sidewalk? It's in yeah, the alley. It's more or less. It was in an alley. Go out for a smoke. Next thing you know, you got poop shoes. What are you going to do? Oh, you smoke? <laughs> I was going to say. Playoff <laughs> darts don't count. Yeah. If I leave St. Albert, I consider it a trip. So trip darts oh, don't count. Oh, you mean St. Vegas? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for using the proper vernacular. I was saying to Bag Milk, and I don't know, it's wild when you look outside and 
back in the day when I used to go to bars and be in the smoking section, it was just cigarettes. Mm. It is 50-50 weed and cigarettes, and it is mind-blowing. I still have trouble being like, oh, no, this is... Say less. Say less had say legs, less. Eh? Fuck. <laughs> say less. We were saying that a lot. And you know what's going to happen? We're saying it as a joke right now. I know. And next thing you know, it's going to be like bro, uh, where we yes. were making fun of people who said bro all the time. Oh, and, and now I we say, say bro. Hundy P. I, 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 Hundy P, yeah. Which is probably now old, but. No cap, bro. No cap. No cap. Bet. You, oh, that was an ON every day thing. Where are you going to start using Well, they taught all these kids. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. We're so yeah. young and hip. Mm-hmm. And that's why I left Greta at. Midnight, because <laughs> I am so young and hip. Yeah, I like your story. You're like, no, no, I'm going hard, and then you immediately. Literally, like, oh. I thought I was staying. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna stay back for one more beer, and I swear, like, I I had two, end up having two, but like, all of a sudden, it's two o'clock. Yeah. So then I had to go to Little Noodle. Hold a power rolls. move. In the back of my cab, ordered McDonald's on my phone to meet me at my house, and right as I pulled That's up, nice. and I'm walking. That's good planning. Through the gate, there's my guy dropping off my nugs. That's. That's. That's very, I was very, very proud of myself. Very smart. My play on uh, Friday night. No, sorry. It was, yeah, it was Friday night. I ordered three large pizzas and I was like, this will feed me for the whole weekend. So like dinner. Just you? Well, me and Amber. Okay. And Don't. It, and it was like. This is a great idea. Yes. Yeah, this sat- is the best. <laughs> Saturday before we went out, because it was like an awkward time, right? I was leaving the house at like 545. It was like couple slices of pizza i'm good get home at 2 a.m couple slices of pizza why is 5 45 an awkward time because like not enough time to have a full meal i didn't know when to eat okay. usually i would eat buddy that don't let anybody shame you know, for the for the for wake the... up sunday hung over what's for breakfast couple That's slices of pizza what it's all like, about it was right just there. pizza 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 and i still today for lunch had two more slices i do this with chinese food yeah i do too i'll oh, order yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Oh, always if order. we need four meals i get six yeah yeah. Eat it for two and a half. Always days. get twenty five to thirty percent more. As like a pre gaming move of like I know I'm gonna have a booze filled weekend. I know I'm not gonna want to cook very much. Just as many now nah, then just put them back. And you're gonna want stuff like pizza, Chinese yeah. food. Yeah. yeah it's comfort foods. I Oodle love noodle. ordering so much Chinese food that I just I open the fridge. I'm just like, all right. That's why when we do, do takeout orders of pizza and my wife says, Yeah, we need this many, I just then add one more. Yeah. And it's now I know we're good. Yep, yeah. you're a smart man, Chalmers. I think we all are. Uh, before we keep moving along, got to talk about Oodle Noodle, where you can go find. It. There you go. I was there late night. At, late night downtown is back on. Nice. So I had some uh, post Greta Oodle Noodle nice. while I was trying to sort out my Uber situation. Very smart. I love uh, just yeah. We ordered two orders of spring rolls and just popped them like Tic Tacs while we. How much money did everyone make betting on that hockey game over at Betway? Uh, I lost every bet. Okay. Because I went the under like an idiot. I had and I went boo shot first. But you know what? I don't care. I won. I gladly lost. If that's what it meant, if that's what it took for the Oilers to win, happy to do it. I won zero dollars. And the reason is, is because I was way too confident and I took the puck line, like I said in my picks, and I took the over 6.5. That was smart. And it was, but I put them together in a parlay bet. So zero. I parlayed. Oilers win, Leafs win, Devils Rangers over. Cash it. I had a good night. The only thing I won was Oilers money line over five and a half total. The rest I lost because I just got greedy. That yeah, was my you- original my my original bet when I came, I even said it on air yep. by a mistake was Oilers and Connor two points. And I'm like, no, no, no. I want a juice here. Go the under six and a half. I don't know why I kept thinking games in this series are gonna go. So this is this was gonna be funny. I thought every game in this series is gonna go under. And now I think every game in the Vegas series is going to go over. So, bet the under. Yeah, I actually did poorly, Tyler, to answer your question. That's, That's okay. You did your part, man. Yeah, I did what I did. needed to do. You primed the market. You also hit your M. Chuck, uh, McDavid, first goal score, which yeah. we, which most of us picked on the ON uh, Everyday Show. Should have listened to show. the squad. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anyways, we're going to step aside for a quick ad and come back. Gentlemen, three of us are hitting the road this week. That's exciting. Yeehaw! I was actually shocked with how well after the game you were able to dial in and book what you had to book Quickly. in the middle of a packed house I know. with chaos everywhere chaos. after the amount of drinks that we had had. And well, I looked at you and you were about as zoned in as I've ever I, seen. I appreciate the fact you can scan your credit card to get all the details loaded in 
<laughs> yeah. when making the purchase because that yeah. helped things. Well, because the he so, ate a lot of sodium. His fingers were well. And, well, and also shout out to AMA for me. I was going to say, Chalmers, you can do it easily when you book with AMA. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, that, and that's, that. why, and that's why it was so easy for me. But it was good that we, the reason why I wanted to be so prompt, two reasons. Last time the flights were going up by the second once the game days were announced. Mm-hmm. I even looked this morning and they're significantly higher than we Yeah, and now, so I wanted to lock in our price and then figure it out from there. So then we locked in our price. So we saved money. We saved a way, like a lot more money than what we spent on LA because I dilly dallied on that. Right? See, they've gone up, hey. So That's what? Crazy. What? What is the particulars of this trip? We know that the games are Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday and Friday. So yeah, so, times sorry, are I, I, to I, be determined. Yeah, I want to finish the second part. I got caught up in which Tyler was celebrating there, so I just I had I got caught up there. But the second thing was is Vegas. You could still there was limited uh, single game tickets available. So you could buy it through the uh, Gold Knights, supposed to buying it uh, through secondary. Like the, 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 the secondary market. So save a bunch of money there. So I wanted to just like lock it all in, and then we're good. It was my missus' favorite story. She told the story three times yesterday. We were at a friend's barbecue about Jay <laughs> booking these flights mid-bar <laughs> and calling us over. So I need your passport. I was literally within five <laughs> minutes of La Bamba being played. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, anyways, AMA Travel. If you're sitting at work right now and you're like, I'm bored. I want to dream about my summer vacation. Go to amatravel.ca slash dream. And mm. it's like a quiz you fill out. So it asks you questions. Then it like puts together a trip for you. So like, do you want to go somewhere with family and friends? I'm going to say up. yes. I want to. Oh, you have five options next. Relax, adventure, visit several places in a single trip, exotic lands, a little bit of everything. Exotic. 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 Yeah, yeah, go exotic. Like so exotic. Joe with, exotic. With family or friends. Yep. Are you leaving sooner rather than later? Planning ahead. Planning ahead. Planning ahead because playoffs, baby. Of course. Yep, exactly. And then you hit get your personalized details and boom. It will take care. Where are we going? What are our options? They had three countries there, didn't they? Yeah. So we can choose South Pacific, South America, or Asia. Or how about this one? Already broken down to your cruise price, flight, everything. Nineteen twenty-seven a person to do a, a week at the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. That's, that's we do some snorkeling. Deal. That's, that's a, a really good deal, considering really good like deal. the amount that the travel involved. You guys are yeah. cruise guys? I've huge never done cruise guy. I don't know if I'm a cruise I guy. Like I haven't be. done one. Huge cruise guy. I know my brother-in-law hates him. I love him. Uh, You're a confined on a boat. The boat has a casino, a nightclub, a theater. A casino? A casino. Open till four in the morning. It is great. <laughs> they're, they're, well, they're just like... Food like, everywhere. villages, like they're cities. I, love I, I, I really want to do... The only cruise i ever done was one down the Mekong on like this like 20-person boat, and yeah. we had to... Which was... Absolutely amazing! This like three day cruise we did, but I want to do one of those river cruises in Europe or a like Norwegian, Greenland, Iceland cruise. I'd like to go on one of those giant ships. I just want to make sure that I book the right one so that I'm not on a ship with just a bunch of old people. You know, I know I'm going on a Disneyland cruise at some yeah. point in my life, and I'm probably more excited than Crawford. That'd be fun. Yeah, it would. So I love boats. Shout out to AMA Travel. I love AMA Travel. Well, shout I out like to AMA. this feature. So we are, and it's actually really cool. Again, amatravel.ca slash dreams. Uh, we're ready to go for Wednesday. We're ready to go. Bringing the show on the road. Big shout out to AMA for, yeah. you know, working so with So like I said, this. particular, what are you? You're leaving when? Wednesday We are morning. leaving Wednesday morning. Yep. We get in around noonish. Game uh, time, Wednesday night to be determined. To be determined. Probably I'm assuming seven. 7 Pacific, 8 o'clock here. I'm assuming. Uh, so we'll be there in time to do the pregame show. So we'll have to just do it a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, you know, we're. I'm still. I I only did the travel. I'm still waiting. I'm debating on which hotel to to book with on AMA, whether it be Excalibur and be a knight in shining armor, mm-hmm. or if we go somewhere with maybe we can get the arena in the backdrop. Yeah, that's tempting. so debating. But regardless, the whole point I wanted to, why we wanted to stay at Excalibur was to go to med- medieval times. That's happening. That's booked. Thank you, AMA. That's gonna be a nice little off day festivities that we can lock her in because when we were in la the nice thing that we did was we went to the angels game and then we were probably in the rack by like 11 30 yeah. and that's going to be the key for this trip i think is again just building in that one night not going too too hard nah. yeah I'm I'll saving all for Vegas is hard to do that in but I you know. guys do your I'm best saving that all for the friday night game mm-hmm. that'll be my big night and then fly out saturday morning 
Saturday morning. Uh, uh, that decent, like leave at one, so you get yeah. to sleep in, which is nice. Yeah, huge. That so at home at a good time, which is real nice. Mm-hmm. And also remembering how easy it was to go through security in Vegas in January. It could be casual. You know, in Vegas, you can just take your passport and go through international security if you want. They don't check your boarding passes. No, I didn't know that. Well, there you go. If you want to go hang out on the other side of security for no reason. How about LAX? <laughs> Remember the security thing? Did you have to take your laptop out? You just oh, throw that your was bag? The best. That was so nice. That was good living. Yeah, but every line was different. You guys were in one line and they were like, leave everything on, everything in your bags. And in my line, he was like, every fucking electronic you have is in a tray. Backup headphones, tray. Shoes off, hoodie off. What? So it's confusing. So is this like an every series tradition now? We'll see. Seattle, Dallas. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're, then we uh, go. Then we go out east somewhere. Like like I not guess, we, but you guys. We'll see. We're very fortunate uh, to be working with AMA on this. Mm-hmm. Um, they're the ones that are al- allowing this to happen. And so, yeah, I think you know they really liked what we did in the first round, and so they want to work with us in the second round. So. You know, job's not done. We got some work to do for them in the second round. So we'll see. So no show Thursday. You'll do one from the hotel. Yeah, we'll do Vegas Pod on Thursday for real life. And BLTN on Wednesday. BLTN Wednesday. Owen every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from Las Vegas. And tons of great content because there will be a lot of Oilers fans there. That's what I'm excited oh, yeah, about. Because like, be. there's going to be a ton of Oilers fans there. The thing, like, the, thing, yeah. the thing I like about the Vegas, like if, you know, although like Vegas is heavy duty and expensive, but like the thing I like about Vegas is like the lack of Ubers we have to take. I was yes. literally 100%. talking about that last night. I was like, how happy am I to not have taken an Uber once while we're there? Like we probably spent seven to nine hundred dollars in Ubers in LA. Mm-hmm. It sucks. It's like so annoying. Mm-hmm. Vegas will just st- stair boys, step boys, Cruiser. walk everywhere. Be the picture health while we're down is there. okay. Oh, I'm going to grind through it. Yeah. doesn't matter. Play through the, the witch? Pain. Oh, the old uh, back pain I'm having. Ah. Still riding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to golf? There's a part of me that's always like, yeah, like, let's go find a If you're going to, to, now's the time to do it because it's not too hot. Yeah. Or do we just do top golf and booze and hit our drivers as far as we can? But like, yeah, yeah we'll talk about it. I don't yeah, want to get to Yeah. We'll I guess. Yes. Yes. So if this is the only time I get to talk with you guys about this Vegas series, what are we looking forward to? What's keys? Keys to victory in this. Well, What's things to watch? It's, it's going to be a different series. We're playing a different style of team. But they got Mark. Two top back. teams in the Pacific. Yeah. We are heavily heavy favorites, which is <laughs> so, so weird. That's, that's a, prisoner of the moment. We a are big reason why LA was able to do what they did in that series and bring it to six games was Philippe Deneau and Anze Kopitar. Both of them. Two of them. Premier shutdown centermen. Vegas doesn't have one. But they got Stone. Yeah, but he, he scares he's a winger, me way right? less. It's yeah, he's a he's a winger, but he can, but he, you, but like, and he's good. He's a lead. I'm not saying he's not, like, but like, it's, uh, it's. I'm not like it's, but he's only one guy. Yeah, right? it's so that's the thing. To see is there's 40 minutes he's not on the ice. Try to do tactically against the others because they're not going to be passive like LA was. Well, that's the other thing, right? Like Bruce Cassidy doesn't do the one three one sit back. Like this Vegas team will forecheck hard. They'll play you hard. I'm not going to say it's it'll be easy, but then I kind of go like. I think this Vegas team kind of likes to run and gun every once in a while. It's good. That's why I think it's going to be overs. Like, their goaltending isn't that good. They like to run and gun. Well, talk their about defense the, isn't as good as if, LA's. If they want to run and gun, you're just, you're going, you're, Edmonton's That's, the best run and gun team in the league. Like, talk about the goaltending for a second. Laurent Passois, obviously, former good Oilers. First series. Yeah, good first series. Uh, does he get, could go two ways. He either gets up for this because it's his former team, revenge. You got know. up for it. He just beat his former team in Winnipeg, but continue. He's on a complete revenge He's tear. He's on a complete revenge He's going to play tear. the Oil Kings after and rip them apart, too. Mm. Or else he straight up just folds, folds, gets too nervous. Gets shelled. He could. Like, there's turmoil in Winnipeg right now. Like, it's, like there's a very there's big difference of going there. against Blake Wheeler and then Leon Dreisaitl. Yeah, might be. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. How about Clem Costin? He's figuring out his... Uh, his sneaky little snapshot. And it's heavy... Sneaky quick release on that guy. Three points, and he played eight and a half minutes. Lethal. He had 15 shifts. One in every five shifts, quick math, resulted in a goal. That's wild. Clean the dream. Clean the dream. That guy, all he needs is eight and a half minutes to satisfy you. Works quick. It's a lot of time. That would hurt. (laughs) I was going to say. Wow. Bragging. 
<laughs> Humble brag. Uh, yeah. 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 I thought yeah. that was funny. So, yeah. It was. That, I think that's the, the situation in Vegas. <laughs> we are the season series, what we were 3 1, but the three games we won didn't have Stone. Like Mark Stone is a major factor for that. Team. Yeah, and magically he's 100 percent healthy already. It's, crazy. it's wild how well, that works. Vegas knows how to play it. They know how to play it. They didn't necessarily use the cap space properly that it unlocked, but no, yeah, that was weird. Like, like that was a miss. They could have, and it's actually funny because they should have like, just went for Timo Meyer. I know, but like <laughs> they, they could have activated Stone early. Like they had the money to activate him. This isn't even like a cap circumvention thing, really, because. They didn't, like you said, maximize their cap space. It's weird. But they also didn't, like, get the right people. Yeah, they got Barbershev, and, like, that was it. Well, I'm, well, I'm quick. Okay. But, yeah, so, like, Barbershev's, I think, been effective. He's been fine. Yeah. Like, I've, I've I, well, to be honest, I didn't watch a lick of their series. Yeah, Vegas, I watched Vegas game Winnipeg? one, and that was it. I watched a little bit of it. It was just Winnipeg had no jam at all. There's, there, well, there's... There's some underlying issues there, obviously, like with the coaches going against the players, the players going against the coaches. Oh, yeah. It's being a coaches. How about yep. they're all getting punted down south already? His extension doesn't kick in until July one, and they've already greased him. So good. Two years of paid vacay. All right. Apparently, it's like three or five sheets. Uh, it's four, a, four. So yeah, yeah. between eight mil. Thank that's, God the government just go gave cruise him some on money. the farm. You know, <laughs> that's. That's a bumper croppier. So Frank said he was on Owen every day today to break down uh, this move. Uh, he said Sutter's like actually pissed. He said like he did not take it well. It wasn't like okay, I understand. Why well, I don't. I don't move. imagine him taking anything well if yeah, it's bad. It's but it's been interesting to hear Don Maloney, their new uh, head of hockey ops, talk about how he listened to the players on this move. He was like, he apparently he sat in on all the exit interviews and heard what they all had to say about Sutter and was like, this is untenable. It can't come back. Frank even said Sutter had made himself like an enemy of pretty much everyone in the organization, training staff included, players included, front office people, support staff. Why? Like, said he, he said, oh, this, this is like unprecedented for like, I know he, he's tough to play for and he loses the room. Like there's a shelf life to him, but like his shelf to life like, is measured in minutes to, to ex extend that to all the other staff. That's weird. Yeah. Like I, I couldn't believe it. And when you hear Frank talk about that, and I, obviously Frank's not making it up. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, no shit. You have to fire that guy. Like you can't go forward with that. So What's interesting though, is I was doing a little dive yesterday, which Sunday into the LA King subreddit. And they would love to have Sutter back there. Well, I don't know why. Well, it's because he won two cups. But they'd love to have him back there. Who? So who's who's a potential? Oh, I did Mitch Love. Mitch Love, yeah. Former Michelle Warrior. He, Frank brought him up almost right away, which would make sense. I know some people were like, oh, go get Bruce Boudreaux or like another good vet. But I think there's a little bit of, as an organization, when you sit down behind closed doors going, okay, one, we just had the old school head coach. Didn't work. Yeah. Two, we go get Bruce. We got to pay him, what, three? Yeah, eh, we could probably get this Mitch Love guy for. Like yeah, because we got to pay. Gotta pay. Right? You could probably go get the next up. Got to cost head average coach. it down a bit against Daryl. And yeah. whether they admit it or not, they probably look up here and be like, "Well, Woody stepped in, and look what he's doing." Probably they do look up to the Oilers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe Dustin Wolf will actually be their goalie as he should be. He'll be their Stuart Skinner. Now they just need to find a Connor McDavid and a Leon Draisaitl and a Ryan Nugent Hopkins and an Evander Kane. Then they'll start really moving in the right direction. What happens to Luch? He gone. I know, but like, where is I bet. You think he's going to Boston? Le League men, Boston. Uh, my pick's retire For the culture. You think, think he'll retire? I think after, I know he said he wants to come back, but I think after one week of free agency, when no one calls, he'll be like, yeah, I'm good. That's why I think League men, Boston, they're going to lose Krejci and Bergeron. Frank you says, think Krejci's done? Frank thinks Krejci's done. Chance Bergeron's back. Hmm. I can see Bergeron being back. Krejci done, eh? Sorry. If you watched the end of that game last night, there is zero chance Bergeron's coming back. Well, he's unsure. He hugged every single player as they walked Just off. Just in case. Marchant was crying. Yeah. Just in they case. Were, I give you a hug after every show because you never know when it's going to be our last. I guess so. Thought that was just because he I give you a hug every time we're shit faced. Yeah, we do. It's fun. <laughs> a lot of hugs. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I, I don't know if I read too much into it. I think it's just a guy who's maybe real caught up in the moment. Yeah. Okay. 
Wouldn't surprise me at all. It sure, about. it sure looked like it. How about that president's trophy? Like curse, it's unreal. Don't set a record in the regular season. Fans it's almost like because I was talking about this. I wrote something last night at O's Nation, just a random thoughts about the first round. I I finished off with Boston, and somebody made a good point in the comments where it's just like they had their spot locked up months ago, whereas Florida had to battle their way in, and they were playing intense hockey down the stretch. I wonder how much that factored into it. They're, Boston just probably kind of quite a bit. Easy. But the thing about Boston that's different than a lot of these other scenarios of past pre, uh, presidents, children, winners, they had three chances to close out the series. Yeah, exactly. Three. 100%. So a team that did just like battle their way in, they were stroking them and then just. It's like they thought they had it in the bag. Let it happen. And they loaded up at the deadline. The Leafs now own their first round pick. Man, like, like uh, that's the thing that's shocking. Like, the, the, and that's what's beautiful about the bees being out for the other teams is like they had Bertuzzi, Orloff, Hathaway, Hathaway. They're like at any given moment they had an elite defenseman on the ice. Yep. <sighs> it's that crazy. Te- that team looked like a legit. Like wagon. the fact that they are all like. It was them and then everyone else. And so the fact that they're gone, like, this just flips this playoffs on its head. And now, you know, it, it paves the way. It paves the way for certain teams. Job's not done, though. We've got to do the work and make it to the dance. But, like, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be real interesting. Getting back to the others, another thing I find interesting, no watch party on Friday. Downtown. Because of Shania. Shania's here. So are they still going to do the moss pit? Oh, no, they said that. Well, at least what I've seen on socials is there's no moss pit. Oh, I thought they were Shania just... Shania just owning the town. Come on. You got to know we're going to go on a run. Ugh. So the moss pit is going to be denied. I thought maybe That's it was just the our party inside is watch be, party. Our party was already like, you couldn't fit. You couldn't fit one right more up. person in there. But no, it was slammed. The bars of, well, that, you know what? It's great. The bars of Edmonton are going to benefit from that, which is good because they could, you know, every bar could use support after the last few years. That's a good point. Uh, if you want to get into our party at Greta, Greta bar.com. I highly recommend making those reservations. You might want to make a reservation. That was my first one on Saturday. But what a vibe in there. Ooh. So cool. It's good. The Place mic scenario is good. Like it's it it sounds good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's I use the term regicide on the mic. I respect you that. did. You learned mm-hmm. a new word last week. I did, and I immediately went over to the table with my friends and I was like, "Hey, did you guys look that up? Did I use that word right?" They were like, "Yep." What does it mean? Killing of a king. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Up. Yeah. Kingslayer. Kingslayer. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, obviously, games one and two are going to be lit back at Greta. No cap. Uh, and then Say ga- game five, if we get there, I can't Bet. wait to be partying down at Greta. Yeah. Because there is a little part of me. I'm giving my predictions for daily face-off. I got the Oilers winning this thing pretty quick. Really? I had Oilers in six against LA, and I nailed it. And a lot know. of people, Frank and Jason, were game five, right? A lot of people were like, oh, oh no, gonna you make knew was going to be. I, I knew LA was going to be pesky. Vegas doesn't have, at least not from what I see right now, I don't think Vegas has the ability to be as pesky and as much of a th- Thorn in the side defensively as the Kings are. And I think Edmonton. I'm going to others in six. Yeah, I think six is a nice, comfortable. I think they split one and two, and then it's three straight Oilers dubs. So we don't know just yet. We know that games one and two are Wednesday, Friday. That would game three make Sunday. you think that game three is Sunday with Shania game is Friday, four Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Game five, Thursday. They should move Shania to the convention. Watch party so. Thursday. Shania can play Rexall. Or go to Commonwealth. I just love I that. love you, Shania. Yeah, like, boy, did I have a crush on you. She no could probably game. sell out Commonwealth. Oh, yeah, no cap on an Oilers game night. And tickets less. ain't they ain't giving them away to Shania on the weekend either. Oh. I looked yesterday just for funsies. She's also coming back in November again. I think she she wants she, that banner. She wants that Brooks banner. She's out there. Yeah, she's not the only one playing for a banner in this city right now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And where's that rank on shitty jokes I've made on this podcast? Uh, no, they're good. Same, about as shitty as the stuff on your shoe. Was that a shitty joke? Yeah, probably, but at least <laughs> connects the, the poop shoe. I like that you have poop shoes on your bed. Uh, <laughs> white sheets? Uh, like a light gray. Oh, so. uh, I did, but to be fair, it happened, and then we cruised around Greta again for a bit, and so, I was able to wipe most of it off. Well, sorry, concrete. Greta. 
Well, I got most of it off on the concrete and then cutting. That's a, yeah, it's a, yeah, yep. Yep. Anytime I uh, towel, I towel off out of the shower, I just concrete myself up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. <poop> <laughs> yeah, not great. That should be the name of the episode. Tyler's got poop shoes <laughs> and a poop bed. Would you have the embarrassment of stepping in human poo and then being so smart as to step on your own bed? Would you have told Amber that you just pooped the bed? It's less embarrassing. Okay, but yeah, that's fair. Again, <laughs> it's not like I stepped in shit outside my house and then immediately went inside. No, somehow you gracefully kept it on your feet all the way to your I would have lit my shoes from on downtown. Fire. <laughs> yeah, they've been going in the river. If I had another pair of shoes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> People were giving me shit for wearing sandals in Greta. Aren't you, don't you worried your feet are going to get all sticky, get stepped on? I'm like, I don't really think about stuff like that. Play off, baby. Yeah. Guess how sticky they were when I got home. But what if you would have stepped in shit? <laughs> yeah, I would have been disgusting. Even more disgusting than your you shoes. You would have slipped. I would have yeah. slipped and then landed in it. How did you slip? <laughs> no, I didn't notice. For a bit. I noticed because it stunk of shit. Until everybody was like, God, he keeps farting everywhere he is. <laughs> He's walking around a bar farting. <laughs> Sicko. <laughs> All right, well, good episode, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was. Very entertaining. <laughs> Old poop shoe episode. So what do we think? Uh, so you think they're going to split on the road? Split on the road, then win three straight. Oh, man, I can see them win them both in Vegas. I say that because I, I, I drink do, Kool-Aid yeah. for a living. But Oh, you got to. So that means they... Is this what, I this like what this. happens. The Oilers go and they win on Wednesday. We are at the craps tables immediately. I know. The night we're supposed to take it easy. <laughs> No, I you're just, supposed to say my, my worry is the robbery we pulled off last time on the crops oh, table. I'm just like, I know, I'm yeah. due for a deposit back into <laughs> yeah. Vegas. You got to pay the piper. Like <laughs> Vegas was, or LA was very free for me because of our Vegas Nation vacation, and still I got some house money to bring back to Vegas. Isn't Thursday the night you're supposed to take it yeah, easy? Thursday's yeah, Thursday. Night. Yeah, Thursday. but if I was gonna go big one night, I'd go big because it's like Thursday's a full on work day. The beauty about LA yeah. is we're there for the weekend. Mm. It was wonderful. Like Thursday, like I've looked at my calendar. I got an 8 a.m., a 9 a.m. mountain time. Oof. Oh, you got to be up early Thursday? Yeah. Oh. I know. Whoa. Thankfully, they pump oxygen. I'll, I'll take that might nap. be one of those ones you start planting the seed for a reschedule. Oh, I'm going to try to reschedule the first one. Yeah. I was worried about doing DFO live at like, again, That'd be 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Pacific. Time. So, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that to you, at least. Do you have to do it? I'm not hosting, but I'm going to help out a bit. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways. All right, guys. Well, Chalmers has moved the mic away from his face, so that is it. No, it's still here. I just had to sit up. Ah. I mean, hearing about your guys' vacation that I'm not coming on is really just starting to bump me the well, fuck out. Well, I'll be playing. Yeah. Come with. Yep. Yeah. All it's right, called www.kidsdontjustgoaway.com. They could. Don't actually visit that <laughs> URL. <laughs> Kidsareforever.com. Unless and they're jobs. not. And jobs, and yeah. Jobs. And jobs. Yeah. Mm. You guys are lucky that you get to do this. I'm aware of that, yes. Yeah. All right. That is yeah. a wrap on this week's edition of the show. Uh, we will talk to you on Thursday for Vegas. on the brain? <laughs> talk, talk to everyone Thursday. <laughs>